When we create an image view in SwiftUI, it'll automatically size itself according to the dimensions of its contents. For example, if the image inside it is 1000 by 500, the image view showing it will be 1000 points wide and 500 points high. Most of this is what you'll want, but sometimes you want to provide custom dimensions, and here I'll show you various ways that's done. I'll also show you a different way, a new kind of view called Geometry Reader, which lets you create sizes according to some specific percentage of the user's available screen space. First, go ahead and add some example image to your project into the asset catalog. I have one here already called example. Obviously, when I'm going through, I'll say example, you want to have your own code instead. I'll go ahead and say, I want that image inside my layout by saying image here of example. And when it runs back, you can see it's very, very big. I've got to zoom out and actually see this box around where the image is, is being drawn on the screen. Because it's, it's a landscape image, as you can see over here. It is uh, wider than it is tall, but it goes beyond our image space. Now, you might think to yourself, uh, we can just add a frame modifier here to adjust the way it's sized. So I'll say, uh, don't go to your natural size. Instead, use a frame with a width of 300 and a height of 300. And that won't work. Like your image will still appear at its natural full size. If you want to know why it's doing that, zoom in to your preview window. And what you'll see is there is still this box. For me, it's purple, for you it might be blue. Uh, in the middle of my view, it's right here. If you can just about make it out of my background. That is the 300 by 300 frame we've asked for. And the image use frame has been set correctly. You can see it right there. But the content of the image is still shown at its original landscape dimensions. Now try changing to this dot clipped after the frame. And now you'll see more clearly what's happening. Our image view is indeed 300 by 300, but the contents are now clipped inside that box, making a nice square image like that. But that's not really what we wanted. We wanted the whole thing to be sized down to be 300 by 300. If you want the image contents to be sized too, you want to use a different modifier called Resizable. It tells SwiftUI to make the image scalable and stretchable so it will now squeeze down into a 300 by 300 box. However, I can now tell you what's happening is it is squashing the image. It's making it exactly 300 by 300, making it square. My image was not square. It was a landscape image, so it looks distorted now. It's been resized into a square shape. To fix this, we've got to ask the image to resize itself proportionally, which we've done with one of two modifiers, scale to fit and scale to fill. They're very similar, but subtly different. Scale to fit means the entire image will fit inside the container we have, the 300 by 300 container, even if it means leaving some parts of that container view empty. And the second one, Scale to fill means the view will have no empty parts. It'll be filled with our image, even if that means some of our image has to leave the container. Try both of them and you'll see for yourself the difference. First up, we'll say resizable, then scaled to fit. And you'll now see there's white space at the top and bottom, whereas it's left space to make sure the full width of the image fits inside a 300 by 300 box. Alternatively, scale to fill will fill the 300 by 300. It's now filling our box completely, but then overlap on the left and right. It'll let some escape out of the way in order to leave no space in our container area. Now, all of this works great if you want fixed size images, exactly 300, exactly 300, whatever it is, it's fine. But very often you want images that automatically scale up to fill more of the screen in one or both dimensions. So rather than saying I want exactly 300 wide, you might want to say, I want this to be 80% of the user's screen width, for example. SwiftUI gives us a dedicated view for handling this called Geometry Reader, 
and it's remarkably powerful. And I know lots of Swift UI is powerful, but honestly, what you can do with Geometry Reader will just blow you away. We'll go into more detail on Geometry Reader in a later project, I think project 15 or so. But for now, we're gonna use it to do exactly one job, to make sure our image fills some percentage of the container area. Now, Geometry Reader is a view just like the others you've seen so far, except when we create it, we're handed a special type called a Geometry Proxy. This thing lets us query the environment we're inside. How big is our container? What position is our view in the container? Are there any safe area insets and so on? In principle, that seems easy enough, but in practice, you'll need to use Geometry Reader very carefully because it will automatically expand to take up all available space in your layout. It'll then position its own content aligned to its top left corner. So it can really screw your layouts. For example, we could say, uh, I want around my image, a geometry reader like this with a proxy coming in, push that all inside. We'll say it's resizable and scale to fill, but for the width, we're gonna say it is geo.size.width times 0.8. So 80% of our available width. And I'll make this thing uh, fit so you can see exactly what it's doing. And now what you can see is our frame box is still 300 by 300 as you expect. It's positioned to the top left corner and it's sized to 80% of the screen width. So I'd said here 0.9, it's 90% or 1.0, it's 100%. So it's now full width of the screen. So I have more fine grain control. And in fact, you can even remove the height entirely and just say 80% of the width of the screen. Because SwiftUI has enough information, it can automatically figure out the height. It knows the original width of the image. It knows our target width, 80% of the screen width. And it knows our content mode is scale to fit. And so it understands the target height of our image will be proportional to target width. Now, a tip for you before we finish, if you ever want the center of you inside a geometry reader, rather than aligning to the top left corner, just add a second frame after the first one, making it fill the full space of the container, like this. I'll do frame, width is geo.size.width, and height is geo.size.height. So there's two frames, one for the image and one containing that first frame, and that will, as you can see, perfectly align inside the geometry reader.